So Greenies from Pennsylvania once again, and back down there behind me somewhere is another covered bridge. And we're down here in Lancaster County today. I'm actually headed down to a place down near what's called Chickie's Rock to film an, another like a Bigfoot in Pennsylvania episode. This is about the, the legend of like a, a pygmy Bigfoot that lives down that area, or it used to at one point. But there's 27 covered bridges in Pennsylvania, so I figured there'd be one along our way down there. And indeed there is. This is the Kaufman's Distillery covered bridge. I'll put the name down here. We'll probably stop at one on the way home too, but uh, let's get down. I can get my little uh, safety vest thing on. This, bro this one is open to vehicular traffic, so we'll be a little bit careful as we explore this one. All right, let's get down there. All right, let's start making our way down. You kind of see it off in the distance there. And th I should say, this is Sun Hill Road right here. And just back behind me um, is Mannheim. I believe that's Mount Joy Road up there. You can hear it. A little traffic from that road. Let's head down here to Kaufman's Distillery Covered Bridge. 96 feet long and built in uh, 1876. Looks like there's an information board down there for it. And of course, as soon as we see the inside, you should recognize the design. It's the most common one here in Lancaster County. Let's quick get across here, look at the information board actually. All right, here we go. Other names, also called the Sporting Hill Bridge, Big, Big Chickies, crosses the Chickies Creek, 96 feet. Builder was James C. Carpenter, rebuilt by Elias McMillan. I've seen his name in other ones. So it's built, oh, so originally built in 1857. So when I said 1874 was the rebuild, okay. There it is, the Burr Arch Truss. This bridge was named for a whiskey distillery operated by at least two generations of the Kaufman family. Cool. It was once located at the northern end of the village of Sporting Hill. Okay, so you can read the rest of this if you want to. After the bridge is approved, yeah, a thousand dollars. Yes, we've seen his name before. All right, so we'll head up inside because they have posts and signs on the sides here, and even one over there. So it might be difficult to get a view from the side. And we'll try not to get run over in here. Yeah, you got the Burr Arch Trust there, as always. Just a single burr arch. Yeah, most of this wood looks original, too. Has that look to it. Here's a look at it from this end. Let's see if we can get a view of it down here quickly, off to the side. There we go. Kaufman's Distillery, it's back up a little bit. The Kaufman's Distillery Covered Bridge. And this one is painted in the typical Lancaster red with the white facing front. Most of the ones in Lancaster kind of look like that. I like to try to get a view of it from the sunny side. But I don't know, they have signs over here. They don't want you. No trespassing, Pennsylvania farmer. All right, I would love to get a view. I mean, we might get a little view without getting over there too much. There you go. I don't quite like that view though. Well, if we walk a distance away from it, we get a nice view of it from the side there, the sunny side of it. That one sign is in the way there though. Let me back up just a little bit more. I can always zoom in a little bit then. Oh, there we go. Still, those signs are still in the way, but we can zoom in. That's a nice sunny side picture of it there. Yeah, that's a good view. And it's our first covered bridge named after a whiskey distillery. Most of them are named after a mill or something else. Back across we go. We got another car coming now. So a fairly busy bridge, actually. Of course, you know we're gonna drive it across, across here in a moment. Naomi's favorite part. I left her parked up there on the side of the road. Yeah, the last covered bridge we looked at what was at the Schofield Ford. It was well, it was the one that had been completely rebuilt. We had talked about the wooden pins of that one, but this one has the more modern metal ones. This wood has a nice old look to it. Has some of the iron strengthening rods in it too here. 
Kaufman's Distillery Covered Bridge. We'll take one last look through here in a moment. Turn around. There you go. A look through. I love seeing you know, all that wood framework in there. Look through these bold bridges. So there you go, the Kaufman's Distillery Covered Bridge. All right, I'm gonna get back and Naomi up there and we're gonna drive across here together then though. All right, and I probably should start keeping count of what number covered bridge this is. I think we've, there's like 200 of them here in Pennsylvania. So once I reach 50, I'll be at a quarter of them and we haven't reached 50 yet. So we might be close to 25 or so. So maybe an eighth of the way done. All right, so we'll drive across here together. No one's coming from behind. go across the covered bridge Naomi's favorite part all right folks thanks for coming along and hopefully I'll see you on the next one maybe as we search for the Albert witch or the pygmy Bigfoot all right I'll see you around